Hello and welcome back to an Empowered Service tutorial. Today we're going to be installing the plugin DynMap. First, we need to go to empowerservice.com and then press new control panel on the top. Once we're here, we're going to choose our server, mine's tutorial server. I'm going to press manage and then I need to install Spigot, Bucket or Paper Spigot to my server. I'm going to choose Paper Spigot since it's more optimized than Spigot. So we're going to head to configuration, advanced. And then we're going to install a different edition. From the drop down menu, I'm going to pick paper. And then from the versions, I'm going to pick 1.16.4. You can pick any version as long as it's higher than 1.10, since that is what DynMap is created for. I am going to format my server since I do not want any of my files. But if you do care about your files, don't press this button. I'm going to press install edition. You'll see this page and then the page will refresh and you'll be back on your server. The page is refreshed. So now I'm going to go to system console and I'm going to start on my server. Make sure you accept the EULA by pressing I accept. Now the server's online, I'm going to go up to management, file management, I'm going to choose the plugins folder and then I'm going to press the upload button. Now I've already installed DIMAP but if you wish to install DIMAP just search DIMAP plugin and make sure you're on the website spigotmc.org. I'm going to click on the file and press open. Once you see the page refresh and the size is about right that means the plugin has uploaded. I'm now going to restart my server so we can load the config files. So I'm just going to press the restart button. Once your server's back online, we now need to config DynMap. So we're going to head to management, file management. We're going to press plugins and then DynMap. Now we need to head to the configuration file. So the first change we're going to make here is we're going to change the map from high res to low res. So in this section here, we need to type in low res. Next, we need to change the port that the server will listen on. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the port. Once you found this, it should be on about line 330. You now need to enter your port. If you haven't got a port already, you need to ask for one. So go to the bottom right corner of your screen and you'll see the live chat. And we're always here to help you and we will give you a port. The port I've been assigned is 7672, so I'm going to type that in. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to change the image format to JPEG. So now we need to find the image format box. So here we found the image format. This is on about line 260. We're just going to delete this last section and leave it as JPG. Now that we've changed all that, we're going to save the file here by pressing the save file button. Once you see this green pop up that says the file is saved, we're going to head back to system, console and restart our server. Now one last thing to get DynMap ready is we need to type a command into the console. Type in DynMap full render and then the name of your world. The default name for any world is world. So I'm going to enter in world. However, if you're unsure of your world name, Head to management, file management, and your world folder should be somewhere at the top. And it should look like this. As you can see, my world name is world. Now, just wait for the render to finish. For me, my render of world has finished. So now I'm going to check out DynMap. Now to see our DynMap, the first thing we need to do is go to system, server details, and then find our IP. Here is our IP. So I'm going to highlight it, right click and press copy. Now I'm going to head up to my address bar. And I'm going to right click and paste in the IP. Then I'm going to put a colon and as you see, I've already looked at this, so it's been filled in, but I'm going to put a colon and then type in the four digit port I was given by a staff member. So this is 7672 and then press enter. The map will load. And as you can see here, everything is working fine. Thank you very much for watching. If you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us would be via live chat located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.